good morning all we welcome all for the second session of day 5 aict ist is sponsored six days online workshop on internet of things using arduino and raspberry pi now the session chair mr k n sendil kumar sir senior software engineer value india private limited chennai Sir is quite expertised in embedded system technologies. He has done his masters in embedded systems in SRM University, Chennai. He holds more than seven years of experience in industry. His specialized areas are embedded automotive with domain, embedded C language, Python language, HMI, and microcontrollers, etc. He has worked in more than nine projects, and he has uh, worked as a senior software engineer in Robert Bosch Engineering and Business Solutions, and he has also worked as a senior programmer in SRM Technologies. It is quite indeed pleasure to have you, sir. Now the session is yours. Please take over. Good morning, all. Uh, thanks for giving the intro, and uh, thanks for giving the opportunity from GRG Polytechnic, especially Indra Ma'am also, uh, and all the professors and students. Can you see everyone? Yes, sir. Presentation slide. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, today we take about the topics of uh, IoT and I, its uh, real-time applications. Everyone know IoT is a big major role in everyday life. Uh, wherever we go, we can connect internet, and we have a, a, a number of devices to connect to, and take hand carry also. So this, uh, how it goes to real time, man, everyday mandatory applications. So we go to talk about uh, the uh, smart technologies. It's called as, name as smart technologies and the easily coding and the easily problem solving and easily connect the hardware to the cloud database and the internet connectivity. Uh, nowadays, in the embedded hardware, we connected to uh, previously. Sorry, uh, previous years we have a embedded hardware. We connected to internet is very difficult. Uh, the embedded hardware is only for uh, the, uh, low end of coding. Means a machine language only handled. No graphical language. No graphical support. And also. Uh, it's a combination of integration with the, all the part. If you if you go anywhere, uh, if you want to check any one thing, example, you go ATM. The ATM have a, a GUI interface in the front end and in the back end. A lot of hardware interconnected and the same hardware interconnected to database servers. Uh, and it's a, a lot of a security process also inside. Because of hackers also nowadays booming a lot of things. Uh, whatever the technology will boom, same side opposite hackers also booming. So this is the major part for IoT related applications. Security and data storage is the very important uh, ethic process for the IoT. So, uh, if you are a IoT developer uh, in the industrial applications, they give high priority for uh, security and data storage process because uh, the device have a lot of uh, enabling features and a lot of uh, sensor we can connect a lot of uh, network connectivity because it's all and all now open space, not a specific uh, application based or not specifically uh, security uh, enabling. So if you are a uh, industrial based uh, IoT related developer, first thing about the 
hardware and the software software you have a open source or if you are a developer you are expertized you will do coding everything that's uh, not a big uh, task the big task is for security and uh, data storage thus uh, in data storage section uh, we pay lot of uh, payment to the servers we implement our uh, own industrial project just hardware we implement at one time but we uh, give every year based on the data storage the data storage and security is the more cost in the industrial based running iot applications so <clears throat> about that uh, what's the internet of things do that internet of things is a physical hardware you know very well about uh, i guess because uh, uh, all the uh, education topics and uh, all the current uh, studying students are uh, keep on learning the in internet of things and the latest technologies so the iot is a uh, hardware based uh, physical device it's connected to internet and we have a enabling features of uh, monitoring and uh, viewing the applications to uh, internet of connectivity devices it's act as a platform to store data for remote locations also previously we don't have uh, facilities for store the data from remote locations the, this is the very good advantage of uh, cloud storage based on the iot devices uh, that's why the hardware part also very uh, uh, less and cheap compared to previous hardware uh, in embedded technology we don't have uh, much space in the controller part the space of the controller part also stored in the cloud database so we can easily taken from the cloud the network speed best uh it will port and it will execute all the things so we don't uh, much uh, investment for the controller memories and uh, high controller efficiency if you put in a lot of memories in the controller side it will difficult to uh, configure the memory parts and input output pins that is the huge hardware design engineer uh, complication so if we reduce memory just it's uh, reacted for uh, hand shaking it's get input and get it sends output just it's hand shaking process it will uh, working very fast that's the beauty of the current uh, iot devices yeah it's consist of web enabled application that's a uh, main advantage if if we have a, a n number of sensors a n number of inputs outputs to connect the iot devices it's uh, transfer the data from uh, directly digital previously if you buy any simple sensor we need to as a embedded engineer we need to analyze the sensor from uh, analog pins to digital conversion we uh, every embedded product we implemented that uh, unlock to digital logic nowadays the program also very less because of the the digital technology inbuilt to all the small tiny hardware also tiny hardware means example say sensors and uh, actuators lot of things now comes uh, directly the digital outputs we have a enabling features of uh, monitored and track the computer connected devices in the iot platform it's a very integrated to communication lines we give to communicate each devices through internet previously if you know very well about internet in our homes we have a telephone line and we connected to adsl modem and we connected to our computers previously nowadays uh, if we have a wifi you have a, any iot uh, related boards it's uh, wifi enabled or if you are uh, embedded boards you have a gsm inter, inter, integrated in the boards to directly send to the 
communication to other side so this the very good advantages of uh, iot integration of communication side we don't go for a, especially for the rj45 pin integration and the rj45 pin if you integrated you need to uh, you n number of ports in your application uh, for that Uh, receiving and transmitting the data you need to configure the uh, hardware as well as software code also you need to enter the header files you need to enter the library files you need to configure the network port you need to configure the what are the uh, data bytes to send in the transmitting side what are the data bytes receiving to the uh, receivers this sandal nowadays very uh much easier for the uh, iot devices so uh, dynamic interaction purpose also we can use in examples if you go for a, a transportation you have a, a mobile you connected to the your mobile to multiple apps you just book for a ola uber whenever time you are in, want to travel in that dynamic time you just log in your uh, app you can book it you previously uh, we go for a uh, transportation booking um, we know very little about the ntl taxi or something that's come of first uh, cab booking process you you need to book 2 to 3 hours before itself uh, through mobile or a landline call only so they will uh, allocate your time they will allocate separate camp for before two hours they will start process but the based on this iot enabled devices it's we can uh, communicate dynamically to the whatever applications you want whatever technology to connect so this is the internet of things um, advantages of uh, current booming technologies uh, it's uh, i would in uh, daily traveling every humans want to travel from one place to another place we go for bike we go for car we go for public transport we go for uh, uh, transit transit uh, trains we have uh, metro trains and uh, suburban trains so everywhere we can go for daily traveling we need to book uh, book means we need to buy tickets from previously we have spent a hard copy of the tickets uh, we need to put one man power uh, we need to put some printer computers to connect to internet so, but the iot beauty is uh, you have a mobile wherever you go you uh, connected to internet uh, you can book dynamically wherever you want Uh, bus tickets metro tickets uh, the uh, actually we are developing the industry based organization we combine all the things uh, uh, we combine means if you are a developer sorry you are a traveler you travel from uh, metro train from uh, example from tiruvannur to thambaram uh, you have a booking on ticket based on the time uh, we will uh, identified your uh, duration and time the next company commuter is available example you go for a metro train then uh, we show uh, from you get down thambaram you can connect uh, to uh, autos you can connect to uh, suburban uh, metro buses or you can uh, go for any uh, cab bookings and all so the beauty of internet things we do this analysis also we give option for that um, traveler this the daily day traveling life uh, it's uh, iot is big booming on this process uh, we uh, just everywhere we go we can uh, see some sensor is there some cloud server is there client device is there that is the um, major roadways of the iot products you go for a roadways says roadways means you have a see a car bus train something so same thing in iot platform we have a connected to cloud servers we are connected to any one client devices 
can connect to um, number of sensors so it will keep on interaction uh, whatever the user needs the client uh, and the input servers will keep on analyzing that's a, a background of artificial intelligent also processing the industry base we are uh, work out based on this uh, entire uh, blooming technologies the iot have a lot of roles in the agriculture consumer use healthcare products insurance side manufacturing uh, companies uh, retails uh, utilities and energy sectors also everywhere now uh, implemented in the iot role um, if you, you you are in a coimbatore you say uh, coimbatore is famous for textile companies uh, you have you are a uh, textile company owner you want to see how much productivity in your company running what are the uh, textile machines you it's running how much duration it running you can just open your mobile or you open your laptop you are a owner uh, you can see the uh, productivity and the uh, consumption charges of every day is in your company is run out so that much beauty of uh, iot uh, back role in the technology and the business side also in, yeah uh, implementation of uh, iot in real time so on uh, uh, major mnc company tie up with uh, working this process uh, it's already implemented in chennai um, we have uh, some uh, riding app for the uh, especially uh, it employees you see uh, in uh, chennai a lot of it companies there uh, the it people every day travel from uh, different mode somebody is going bike somebody is going a car somebody is going uh, public transport uh, somebody is going a uh, cab we have introduced on a riding app and it's uh, connected to all the it companies so it's have a, a huge size of vans uh, and the buses so it connected to the all the it companies entrance gates so if you are a it employee you just uh, um, book your uh, van at your specific time it will shows the exact time and the route you can book it so it's uh, no need for uh, uh, traffic so that if you are a it employee you book some uh, private cab for example uber olo uh, each one person or each two person book uh, each one one cabs so the road travel of the traffic is more so we we introduced this uh, it enabled share mobility app and interconnected to the all the it companies and we uh, give that a fast and uh, mild connectivity also in that way Uh, the cab will serve uh, on the way how many persons also there you can see from your mobile app itself uh, and what time it will reach to your uh, exact place and we implemented for uh, suburban uh, train and uh, metro trains for the ticketing purpose uh, so we are t- undertaken care of both the uh, swiping technologies of uh, metro train Uh, so the user swipe uh, we uh, analyze the um, way of user bad they will go especially i say stambaram to thiruvanmiyu we give that options to next mode of transport uh, example autos or uh, some other public uh, buses so we give this connectivity options uh, it's already implemented in pune we analyze now delhi also because of the transportation technology is uh, more uh, payroll in the metro cities and that uh, yeah we give uh, uh, implementation of a ticketing process we have uh, uh, different types of uh, ticketing in the iot sectors uh, 
so users have uh, uh, atm cards or emb chip enabled cards uh, we have a new complete the hardware setup for the metro trains and uh, we have a new um, NX, npca specifications what is npca specification means uh, if you user buy only one card if you user have a uh, only one account uh, He, he can travel uh, uh, n number of n number of mode transport uh, uh, what is it means uh, metro trains uh, public uh, buses or uh, cab bookings whatever just to user have only one authentication code no need to take carry of all the atm cards or uh, any uh, fingerprint or you qr code based so simple they have a one uh, npc specification card it will enable uh, all the transportation mode this for a open loop ticketing process In closed loop ticketing uh, we do only rfid based uh, process example if you the person enter into uh, metro train station each metro train stations have uh, some uh, door uh, open and closes it will uh, detect the person based on the rfid the same process uh, we followed for uh, internal uh, metro uh, entrance the uh, traveler who to uh, go for a metro train to entering the metro train uh, that swipe option is a uh, different uh, technology so it's direct some uh, evm chip card it's detect some rfid based card or it's uh, detect some uh, some coin based uh, um, magnetic card so it comes from uh, the closed loop ticketing uh, nowadays uh, every uh, smart guys having smart mobiles so they have uh, some qr code that uh, that is for qr ticketing In the qr ticketing it's a combination of uh, digital logic it's a secured and a safer zone for the qr ticketing uh, if you are a open loop or closed loop ticketing the hackers will uh, enter to inside and take the data in qr code every uh, traveler have a, um, generate their own uh, qr uh, generation code it will enable while the uh, user have a secure space and the user have a secure uh, uh, digital transactions that's a specialty of uh, qr code uh, it's uh, uh, dynamic wherever go you want to make dynamically in closed loop and open loop system we implemented uh, for uh, hardware or uh, we implemented some uh, rfid sandal so in qr code no need to external hardware so it's a bit of qr ticketing in the real time process yeah and the qr implementation of this is a qr ticketing for mobile apps and qr scanner also there the qr scanner also it's a specific hardware it won't connect to the internet or any uh, external devices it's just for uh, uh, what we say secure uh, code checking it's only direct for the qr scan codes qr code means it's a combination of uh, some uh, man draw things oh, sorry uh, uh, means it's a uh, uh, measurement based if you are a, a different uh, qr uh, ticket generation it will want to accept that specific measurement it will uh, measure the scanner that's uh, uh, each qr scanner have a different different uh, size based uh, measurement then uh, closed loop ticket we give some uh, nfc cards uh, and uh, microcontroller chip based in that time um, nfc cards uh, only it support from the nearest field it's a specific range of uh, duration distance if you are in a uh, unavailable distance range it will want to work 
and he, it's having some authentic code and it's having some uh, hardware uh, enabled chip also that yeah compared to qr code and open loop ticketing and closed loop ticketing each have a specific specific uh, advantages is there this um, uh, users engineer uh, industries person or uh, users will choose the process if you know everyone have mobiles everyone mobiles have a bluetooth or wifi but uh, some uh, specific mobiles example say uh, nokia or some uh, nobody's come samsung or something it's have only uh, nfc facilities not previous uh, mobiles are uh, if uh, you can see uh, or realme some mobiles that are not support for nfc because of uh, in um, nfc also they implemented some hardware they implemented some code logic they implemented some uh, security key features also yeah in open loop ticketing <clears throat> sorry it's a eme based cards uh, we can use anywhere now the retail marketing online marketing or uh, wherever goes you can uh, swipe your cards uh, example malls or uh, supermarkets uh, so this take care about the visa and mastercard companies they have a uh, implement a lot of security process and uh, a lot of background uh, database structure and all we want to allow the mastercard or visa based uh, transaction list so that uh, security futures of uh, master or visakar or rupee companies uh, handle them that's a uh, emv card uh, facilities yeah then we have uh, some network uh, connectivity gateway control you need to, to integrate the all the ticketing uh, hardware machines uh, we uh, implemented some display technologies uh, it's for mobile or it's uh, shows to some uh, metro train station display the monitors and if we can connect it to cloud software to monitoring uh, uh, how much travelers per day travel uh, what are the revenue from the company perspective and uh, we implemented lots of ECU software as so the ECU software is the major role in the hardware but it's a heartbeat of the hardware in iot technologies yeah and um, these are the same implementation i told about the metro train station we swipe uh, and uh, it's uh, our, our, uh, we are uh, nspc specific cards uh, uh, we uh, just show the cards it will automatically generate qr code or it will automatically come to nfc devices and uh, uh, it's a um, all the combination of these things and NSPC specification is uh, it can display the gateway product and uh, not uh, telling about the entire details because of you are a beginner or you are uh, not novel about the things so so overview of these things uh, you can see the on a uh, electronic control board it connected to usb or j45 and it uh, interconnected to some other uh, open loop issue boards and closed loop issue boards and it's have connected to some uh, uh, lcd display things and it's connected to cloud for the qr ticketing system Uh, this is the implementation of the uh, POS uh, process. We have a handheld POS uh, or we have a rider app uh, that the rider app also we can say says it's an in internal uh, process of uh, POS. Or what is mean POS means a point of sale. If uh, you are a user, it goes to purchase uh, some 
malls or some places and that place had the uh, seller have some uh, hardware devices and the the particular place we say is a point of sale that that uh, a place only we can uh, connect to the bank database to your user account details it's a um, major place is we say a point of sale yeah. in the qr ticketing system it uh, automatically scan your qr code it uh, connected to cloud it verified that uh, your exact uh, qr monitoring digitalized uh, secure code and it's connected to the payment gateway then only your payment will confirm so users once they swipe or once they start the payment process the backbone process going on this thing it's <clears throat> sorry all under uh, internet of uh, things happens in the background so not only for a specific hardware it connected to backbone of the internet connectivity and this for that same cm chennai metro rail system open dashboards to the ticket counter person <clears throat> connected to cloud environment and generate the tickets also yeah and it's a um, uh, payment gateway uh, we give some options for the users uh, prepaid ticket uh, uh, or uh, pay as you go wherever you go pay for particular time you want uh, we give some passes and subscriptions in the passes uh, we give some discount options and all that's the beauty of a selling point of the applications or uh, products because uh, users want uh, the products uh, some benefits so the benefits based on the productivity and based on the sales we do a lot of areas for uh, metro corporation and bus transit agency and uh, multimodal journeys uh, i say is uh, the corporate uh, uh, travelers traveling from one end to another end and we implemented a lot of parking places also For example same metro train uh, parking place or uh, now in the chennai some of the places have a uh, identified as a smart uh, station stinagar uh, bus stations uh, they implemented some smart station and uh, ashok nagar they implemented a metro station also some smart stations just you sir go there and uh, they park the bike uh, they will uh, uh, suddenly go to take metro train they don't wait for the ticket purchasing or parking uh, slot waiting and all. just go they push uh, their car or bike in the parking mode immediately they will lift it will automatically detect the users it's have a mobile connectivity and the time duration and all it automatically analyzed and the same user walking the metro train steps it's automatically connected to that nearest metro train counters and the geo geographical location it will direct from the uh, starting place to in place of the ticket customer the main of the uh, iot technology for a smart parking is uh, we need to don't wait or and we need to manually don't check uh, how much parking space is there and uh, we analyze uh, every month or every week how many vehicles uh, uh, enter in the parking 
if the company or any mall or in big area space uh, they will analyze we need to, to more uh, parking slots uh, from next year or uh, our uh, mall space is uh, small and uh, how much space they want to introduce in the parking so these are the smart parking technology we give business uh, ideas to the business user uh, we give some uh, um, mobile based app and uh, websites for the uh, smart uh, shops and all so we implemented some interface between the users and system that's a uh, uh, backbone of uh, uh, supportable iot hardware so, so we go for a simple solution or we go for a high end solution based on that we analyze and we give hardware uh, for the users uh, we choose uh, infrared sensor infrared sensor is a very low and cheaper cost if uh, you are implemented a n number of infrared sensor in the parking slots it's uh, compared to other devices it's very less cost and its consumption also very less power if you implemented uh, uh, other sensors example say you implemented in wifi board uh, in the parking slot uh, it's consumption more power because of it transmitting the data to wifi mode and uh, it will analyze the keep on the data source also we provide continuously to the internet connectivity and based on the backbone its power consumption and all so if you are uh, connected to other devices uh, in the sensor mode uh, example uh, image sensor or some other uh, sensor it's comparatively more cost so it's a cheaper and uh, effectively power consumption for we go for infrared sensor it's predict the slot occupied or empty and it updated to the cloud because uh, we all all are integrated to the infrastructure to the one simple uh, smart parking system we don't uh, implemented uh, much uh, wifi boards or much uh, image graphical uh, devices to our parking smart <coughs> control code so <laughs> that's a, a simple solution and using to connect the gsm itself and uh, the backbone of the hardware for uh, arduino we used for the very less and cheap cost effectively um, if you go raspberry pi or if you go some other uh, controller boards uh, you need to give more power or more uh, interconnected hardware this uh, arduino uno board uh, this uh, basics uh, of arduino boards yeah and the arduino board i is all advantage about that uh, source of uh, use of hardware and uh, software is open source uh, no need to debug flash the software it can be flashed through only usb you don't need to uh, integrate some jtag converter jtag converter so as an embedded engineer you previous years uh, you can buy one id environment what is id environment means uh, you are a beginner of embedded uh, software coder you type your logic code in the id environment you example if for a uh, your user you have a uh, open some notepad in the notepad you type uh, whatever uh, things that is a id environment in same for the embedded uh, hardware side and uh, that jtag is for uh, converting to high level language to machine level language because uh, our microcontrollers uh, only identified uh, machine level language we put the code for hexa mode to the controller chip in that uh, hexa code conversion we used for the jtag converter 
uh, the uh, Arduino board it's compatible for uh, Linux and Windows environment. If you are a Linux specialist, you know about the Linux coding and uh, you know about the Linux ID environment applications and uh, your company is specifically only using for open source uh, operating system. Uh, it's uh, supportable for Arduino, the open source. Uh, operating system based hardware applications so a simple special programming language called embedded c it's uh, having inbuilt header files and the function can be accessible very easily we just uh, download uh, arduino software id it's uh, open source and the, uh, the beginners also just uh, learn from uh, their own uh, itself it's a simple uh, just uh, led on of blinking you can uh, enter your logic uh, somebody's use some uh, loop loop means they, our led will glow 10 seconds or our led will glow 20 seconds based on the loop uh, the simple logics you can uh, develop your own code or you can uh, get it from uh, open source uh, web portal and you just uh, uh, run it and you analyze the output. It's a very easy program to the microcontroller of Arduino boards. Yeah. Next is for a, a Node MCU Wi-Fi module. It's also same microcontroller boards. It's a special benefit of a Wi-Fi enabled chip. If we are a better developer previously you do some projects based on wi-fi connectivity you example you you go for buy purchase microchip uh, boards microchip control boards it's only support for unlock to digital conversion pwm pins and uh, uh, power input output pins only so if you connect any specific uh, sorry external sensor uh, you connected to that uh, uh, unlock pins and uh, uh, internal code you convert from unlock to digital and uh, your code will show the display and the outputs input and all you need to enter in your IDE environment. You do your own coding for the purpose. In that uh, M Node MCU, it's a uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi. Just you give an authentic code and uh, Wi-Fi SSID users and the password. Everyone knows for that uh, SSID and uh, password how they to, to connect the Wi-Fi. That's the best special beauty of uh, Node MCU boards. Just you can power from uh, only USB. No need to put any uh, external rectified circuits for the power connection. You have a mobile or you have a laptop or you have any uh, mobile adapters just connected to that uh, USB pin. So it will uh, enable the power consumption. It will uh, uh, keep on sense and receive signals from the Wi-Fi board. If you are uh, uh, do from microchip controller, you have a one controller and you buy for an external uh, Wi-Fi board, you integrate it from the microchip controller board, then you integrate Sorry, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sir, one second. Sir, uh, could you change this mode as uh, slide mode, sir? Full screen mode. Um, Nearby, sir. Yeah. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. It shows a digital pin and uh, RX, TX, and the power con connections are there. So, if you, what I say is, uh, if you are uh, choose microchip controller or physical controller, uh, you need to buy external uh, GSM board or external Wi Fi board. That's uh, your project uh, cost will come more. Hardware cost is come more. And you can uh, design the schematic diagram for a, a PCB and uh, extra effort you need to 
put in the connections and uh, uh, design also but it's a very simple cost uh, it's around the 200 to 300 range so directly you connected and uh, you can uh, uh, design your own uh, output box also external box only to specify extra size and all it's a uh, extra beauty of this uh, node mcu box so yeah it says uh, microcontroller you need to say inbuilted it's a uh, framework and prototyping boards are these are open source a anywhere you can connect and anywhere you can work you no need to do any jtag controller or any specific id if you are purchasing microcontroller boards you need to purchase from uh, um, microchip uh, ide environment that's a uh, external uh, special option for open source uh, hardware and software application it's a dual inline package we, it's for uh, dual inline means you can connect both side anywhere you can connect analog side or you can connect digital side uh, at it's uh, inbuilt for uh, uh, antenna also because it's wifi we need uh, some antenna connection we need some uh, especially if you are a wifi user you you have a an antenna and it's uh, that antenna will support some uh, distance range so it's and all already inbuilt uh, we don't need a, any specific external antenna center so yes was see integrated chip it's what is says soc means uh, surface uh, mounted chip so previous chips uh, we have uh, some uh, hardware <coughs> you uh, externally connect to the hardware soldering this under small packs tiny tiny means uh, uh, this and all capacitors this and all uh, small resistors so previously uh, if you are a basic uh, c capacitors comes a uh, small uh, coin size and uh, small tin size and if you are see previous uh, that uh, manual resistors means it's a uh, big color coding round round color codings you can need to uh, insert the pins and you can solder this is the special beauty of a um, surface mounted chip it will uh, perform faster and the board space also very lesser if you are a uh, go for hardware designer you have uh, this technology this knowledge we need to design on circuits and uh, it's having inside some layers uh, that layer it shows the power connection and the pin uh, circuit connection central next is for a ion sensor i says the ir sensor is compared to other sensor it's very cheap and it's have only a three pin connection if you are a, a, any specific sensor you need to connect uh, multiple pins uh, it's uh, if it's a digital sensor means uh, uh, we see ground uh, s1 s2 or s3 serial one serial two pins you can connect it and if your uh, unlock sensor means it's come more pins p1 a1 a2 a3 or p1 p2 p8 up to 8 uh, it will come so what is mean up to 8 means it's parallel connection it's a eight pin line and the eight bit uh, bit of data transfer from uh, input output process but this is uh, only three pin connection uh, it goes just uh, high or low in the indication of our code logic uh, the infrared sensor working uh, always uh, high because uh, it's uh, not consuming more power if it's uh, low and we detect it to high means uh, it's uh, the code logic will take more time if it's uh, logic is always high and you detect a low means uh, the transfer of seconds is very less under its uh, advantages based on this uh, we made the code logic so 
we say uh, uh, define for the P1 parking one slot one. And it's a you know, digital read function. It read the uh, digital pin output. Uh, parking slot one IR sensor. This the uh, code standards we follow for the our own process. If you are a, a industry based uh, developer, it says some MISTA standard for our especially automotive domain. You are a, a embedded programmer. Uh, you learn uh, already in C your uh, knowledge sorry, uh, colleges and uh, you learn extra for embedded C. Embedded C and uh, normal C is different C. So it's uh, supportable for machine language based option. So you learn embedded C and uh, if you are uh, go for um, automotive domain, it says a um, MISRA standard. Mr. Standard means uh, automotive company, all the automotive manufacturer companies, they have uh, some certain code, certain logic. Uh, if uh, examples, uh, if some loop, uh, while some loop, uh, greater than or less than, where it will come, where it going to implement it. These are the standards we follow in the automotive domain. Uh, all the automotive uh, companies they made this standard for all the codes because uh, uh, it's uh, example one car it's having a uh, uh, n number of uh, external hardware connected to run the cars uh, various manufacturers of the car uh, components uh, we can uh, buy various manufacturer component to put your car you can run the your car that's uh, they will made for Mistra standard and the pro product output comes the based on the specific standards. So uh, that's why we can buy uh, different uh, manufacturers just to put to connect to a car, it's working. Uh, yeah. um, we uh, check it comes low uh, based on sensor uh, range, we do the 255 is a range and we give delay seconds. Each uh, uh, IR sensor go, uh, delay, it will uh, execute the logic for that example. If it's keep on running, if any detection comes uh, after on, uh, 200 second delay, only next uh, process will take. So, so uh, in the code standard, we need to give delay for this. Yeah, it's uh, uh, low and high logic we say here for the infrared uh, sensors. And this is the uh, diagrammatic view of the Arduino connected to parking flat. This is for Arduino, you know, board. We connected to digital pins, digital pin of two, three, four, five, six. These are the <clears throat> output pins connected to the uh, Arduino boards. Uh, and we give some VCC ground to uh, run uh, high priority for the IR sensor from the power supply lines. We take now output from uh, IR sensor to input to the Arduino is only the digital pin lines. And we connected to the LED displays for this uh, uh, showing uh, output logic where the parking slot is available, where the parking slot is not available. And it's connected to a portal for the node MCU connections also. I will show for the slides for the hardware and software of this. <clears throat> yeah, uh, we use some blink application for the IoT based car parking. Uh, it's a open source application. You need to just uh, download it from link website 
and just you have a, a user id once you send uh, create your using mail id the registration in the blink app will send you uh, they give some uh, authentic code to your email id that authentic code you can enter to your uh, program some authentic code they will generate and uh, give your wi-fi credentials uh, ssid and password uh, it automatically connected to the other <coughs> node mcu uh, to web portal mm. you need to have uh, in your uh, uh, location uh, wi-fi connectivity to enable the node mcu mode mm. This is the Blink app, it's open source app. You just configured your project or whatever you want to, just LED blinking or IR thermometer sensor detection, uh, uh, n number of uh, outputs we can use in the open group app. Uh, sorry guys, uh, why I prefer under slide mode for the open loop apps means uh, we are working in MNC company, we don't, uh, uh, split our uh, internal uh, web application portals and all. So uh, that's why I give for the beginner, beginners how they uh, take from open web apps. So if you, have, you are a beginner, you don't to buy, purchase some uh, specific apps you want. No need to spend the cost and all. You take from open source and you do whatever you are interested for the research and development. Uh, hardware product so you can go get it. Yeah, you can see uh, uh, your uh, Wi-Fi and password connection and uh, you can uh, configure your uh, background mode. It comes in dark mode or light mode. Yeah, it will show your uh, output screen after you configure. I can show the I can show the code logic that will be implemented. Yeah. This um this for Arduino ID environment, you can go taken from uh, Google itself. It's an open source uh, ID environment. It will connect to the, your uh, hardware directly. No need to extra converter or controller supportable. So you can uh, develop your own code. Uh, I already shared this code to in chat. Um, you can uh, try from your own uh, machines, computers or laptops, you can connect and uh, you can execute this code. Uh, I will say this logic further, you know, so you understand the code and you can change you whatever you want to, the pin numbers or whatever the names or whatever you want to, your own design. You can just configure you know, what are the areas you need to change. Um, this is for include uh, software serial.h. This means a header file. It's have a, some serial connectivity uh, logic uh, implemented in the header file. For example, uh, you be connected to the serial pin of uh, uh, Arduino and the IR sensor. Uh, it will direct from the sensor output to Arduino. In the logic, uh, it implemented in the header files. So you are a beginner of the embedded programmer. Uh, uh, you develop an embedded project. It's a must for uh, uh, creating these things. Uh, first, you need to create header files. Then you need to create uh, based on the uh, R&D projects, uh, uh, library files you need to create, uh, define here. Um, the library files uh, support 
and they will give for uh, some sensor companies example you uh, want to test on sensor uh, they will uh, uh, support for the library files uh, whatever uh, id environment you want to use if you i say is a microcontroller or you say go for a free scale controller or you go for some specific uh, company based controller they will uh, support and they will do their libraries own libraries you need to integrate that libraries then only that uh, hardware uh, code logic will work so you need to include it from uh, here this is the uh, embedded beginner programmers want to do first step yeah then you need to configure uh, your uh, external hardware uh, we configure node mcu pin as 23 so uh, next step what are the uh, outputs or inputs you need to configure after uh, headers file declaration uh, in under file include and uh, library files include then you need to configure our, your input or output uh, lines. Then uh, you need to implement your code logic, uh, the, which type of uh, variables you can declare, int, char, or uh, float, something. Int means you, you, you uh, have a one specific pin. The pin gives some uh, uh, data that data comes more or comes small. Example, uh, integer means uh, 0 or uh, minus 252 uh, plus 255 uh, values. You can uh, save as a integer value to your controller memory. If you declare here as a character, it's a current means one. Uh, you can uh, store only one character memory in your controller. So that the declaration part, you can go for your uh, code logic. You need to configure your uh, uh, data. Uh, your pin how how much data it will transfer and how much data uh, space you need to your controller memory. That's a declaration part, variable declaration and definition part. So we, we declare as a this integer, uh, we give this uh, variable name as uh, parking slot one and we configure this S4 is a pin number of that uh, sensor to Arduino. So in that this fourth pin have some integer uh, values of minus 255 to uh, plus 255 data store in the controller. So the fourth pin send this much data and it's allocate memory for your controller. Same as we give the pin number five and pin number six. Then uh, this parking cloud two, we give six, seven, eight. So we two taken some uh, two slots, parking slot one, two, three. So based on that, we give uh, pin numbers. We give string as sensor one, sensor six. String means we send some string value, uh, parking slot one full, parking slot two full. That's uh, what I say is integer, character, float, no, same as string also, uh, combine of characters. Uh, combine of character means, character means just A only, but uh, uh, welcome. W E L C O M E. It's a combination of uh, around four to five character characters. We stay as uh, strings, so we can send it to configure these string values. Yeah, that string C data we uh, give consisting of sensor values. It uh, uh, store in the each sensor uh, data. Yeah, then we give serial begins. Uh, this is a baud rate, uh, 9600 says a baud rate. Uh, it's for uh, transmitting the data. Each sensor have some uh, data. It's, uh, if, if, you know, IR sensor one, IR sensor two, IR sensor three. 
all the sensors keep on transmitting data but uh, if uh, all same data it will comes keep on all the sensor means it will collapse uh, we uh, don't need to identify which sensor data it will come so that purpose we do that baud rate baud rate 9600 means uh, uh, every sensor will send the data from uh, 9600 baud rate times so so it will not collapse uh, it's keep on that uh, loop process uh, if any data in between come it so won't uh, uh, collapse other data that's a communication uh, process we need to give this baud rate we give both side uh, serial communication and uh, node mcu uh, serial communication means we give sorry uh, we define this for uh, send ir sensor to uh, arduino board and this for uh, arduino board to uh, node mcu connection so it will keep on that same uh, signal level transfer then we need to configure the pin mode input pin or output pin then this uh, functionality will run in the loop background it will keep on check the sensor see data is all the sensor data will be uh, convertible and calculate to show the parking slot is uh, full or uh, empty so this digital right is uh, uh, keep on says high means uh, uh, whenever uh, it's uh, the car will comes it will uh, detect uh, here low otherwise it's and keep on high the digital lines it sends to the controller uh, I, this ir uh, one sensor is high whenever the ir sensor low uh, is detected it sends to uh, node MCU or it sends to LED, uh, the slot one is filled. So this high low logic we implemented here. We give the delay and implement uh, here. This is uh, each each slot, slot one, slot two, uh, two slot eight we give. Then, uh, yeah, uh, we, we segregated, uh, one, two, three slots from parking one. Parking one means one building, uh, parking slot two is another building. Uh, in the parking one slot, one building have a three parking slot, and then next building have a three parking slot. We implemented this uh, logic. Then uh, once you've done this code, you go for uh, upload this. You need to connect your hardware to your USB. I already says to Arduino, you know, hardware. Uh, once you connected uh, your hardware, then you first of all, you need to compile. So this is the compilation process. It says you, whenever you go mouse here, it says uh, the uh, left right side verify. So first you, you, are, you write your code. Uh, you can, uh, um, unless your code is working fine, it's uh, have uh, no mistakes or it's no uh, any depend or declaration, uh, it's uh, configured. You need to verify your code from just click this verify option. So it says compiling your sketch and it's uh, after compiling, it done compiling code. If you hear some uh, code will say say error, example declaration is not there our pin connection is not uh, coming you need to uh, what in embedded engineer says debug yeah debug means you need to identify your declaration part or input output parts is properly configured or not configured uh, you can check from this software logic you implemented properly or not properly once uh, you modified this then again you need to file save then you go to verify your compilation code. Next process is once the compilation is done, uh, you need to upload your code to your microcontroller. Microcontroller means your Arduino board or Node MCU board. 
so you how you upload means you connected your hardware to usb connectivity uh, via laptop or a computer then you just uh, click as upload it says compiling sketching and uploading yeah it's uh, once uploading time it says some green bar and it shows uh, the memory of the processor how this much memory maximum is the uh, you store how much of uh, your dynamic allocatively you have uh, this much of living bytes in your uh, controller space once done your, your uh, code logic is implemented in your uh, microcontroller uh, it, once it done uh, it uh, automatically identify your uh, external sensors it will detect and detect your sensor output and it sends to your specific output devices. Example says LCD monitor or web portal, whatever you mention as a output devices, it automatically sends to your output devices. This is for Arduino based logic code. The next I show about uh, Node MCU based logic. Uh, I say it's a Node MCU we connected as a Wi Fi board, it's uh, communicated to your web portal, and you have uh, some uh, um, mobile based application uh, you install from uh, you uh, go for that Blink uh, website and uh, download from your. Uh, Blink app and the configure from your code, configure from uh, mobile application side and configure in your code here. So you need to initially define your uh, mobile app uh, serial port and you need to include that Wi Fi header files. So, uh, I previously says if you are a beginner and starting of uh, embedded engineer, code engineer, you need to configure your header files. What are the external devices or what are the controller boards you can use based on that uh, uh, your uh, header files and library files you can add. Uh, in I say uh, previously also include software serial.h. This is for uh, Arduino header files. And that same serial communication protocol we are using from Arduino board and Node MCU board. Uh, in Node MCU board, it have uh, some special feature. What I say is uh, uh, Wi-Fi enabled devices. In Wi-Fi enabled devices, we give this header files and we give uh, our mobile application portal header files also include here. <clears throat> and we give some delay logic. So we need to include your uh, delay logic header files, simple timer.h. It's uh, if you go open and check to this header files, it's uh, uh, same this type of uh, logic code will implemented uh, and it says uh, delay logic, how the delay logic workings, uh, how the we says uh, example, Yeah, here we call it as a function as delay 200. This to delay 200 means inside this 200 have some uh, three to four lines of code in our header files. That is, we can just include our header files. We know no need to uh, enter our uh, that same logic here. Just we call this function header uh, include here. Uh, while compiling and while executing this program, it automatically calls your header files and it automatically configured your timer also. So then you uh, previously I says uh, in Blink app, they will generate some authentication code. You need to enter uh, your uh, email ID, uh, sorry, your emailed uh, N authentication code and you need to configure your uh, home uh, Wi-Fi SSID and uh, your Wi-Fi password 
so if you configure these three things then only this uh, node mcu board will work how this configuration why this means this authentication code means this authentication code to connect your web portal web portal means we use it as a chrome or uh, some uh, web portal internet explorer something so in that internet explorer how it work it's based on ip address in that ip address it will generate from this authentication code in that authentication code it's in the back, background logic is it generate on ip address that's the uh, this code line is implemented here and this ssid password is this is configured for uh, you home have a wi-fi and uh, you need to configure wi-fi password why it's not an open source if you have open source mean everyone connected and everyone push some uh, uh, unwanted thread so that purpose we give some authentication ssid and password uh, we give this uh, in uh, sorry first second third values of sensors this is for a integer so we implemented uh, sorry yeah we declare our variables for int and this for uh, declaration purpose we have a three type of sensor we declare this sensor as integer and uh, we declared leds also uh, integers then this for a timer event this logic for a, a blink uh, mobile app uh, configuration purpose so uh, blink virtual write means uh, virtual means uh, web portal we uh, write this uh, to this much seconds of values uh, you see in your mobile app it shows uh, some uh, parking on is uh, highlighted as here, some green color so it's uh, virtual write means uh, once here it, the hardware will generate your signal it write to your uh, mobile application that's uh, this function virtual write function then same serial begins of baud rate and uh, we begin uh, auth authentication ssid passwords and all we do timer set interval value for each sensor this uh, some illumination about sensor value one it will direct sensor value two value it will set to the timer interval Let's keep on every timer interval each sensor higher sensor will sense a signal as a high or low based on high or low this logic will work um, yeah this logic will work one two three four it send the signal as a low or high it will automatically detects your uh, parking slot is full or empty and thus uh, it's a run out of time sorry that's why i already sent this program to your chat you can easily identify these things because of we um, give each and every code has some explanation and uh, next thing I, I i will show this as uh, some uh, videos uh, because of sorry i now taken from some open source video because of uh, its company uh, rule and we don't show our uh, products to the external purpose so i will show this uh,
yeah uh, you can see this the ir sensor we just connected to the node mcu and arduino board we give the usb power line for source Sir, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Do we have audio for this, sir? We couldn't hear the audio. Okay, okay. Is it possible to play in YouTube? Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Yeah, yes. Ah, sir, there is no audio. Can you make it as a full screen, sir? Yeah, yeah, just a minute. I will send you. There is no audio. The, you can make it as a full screen.
सर सिस्टम वॉल्यूम सर प्लीज कैन यू हेयर मी यस सर सम but it's not so clear sir uh, but i can i can send the link you can uh, open from your okay sir please ping in uh, chat box sir please yeah sure sure i will ping thank you हेलो सर यस सर हाँ सर यू कैन पोस्ट दैट लिंक इन द चैट बॉक्स सर सो वी कैन सी इट लेटर सो द जस्ट टू आर सीइंग द वीडियो ओनली सो इफ यू आर पोस्टिंग दैट लिंक इन द चैट बॉक्स मींस यू विल सी दैट रियल टाइम एक्सपीरियंस यस यस सर आई ऑलरेडी शेयर्ड द लिंक इन चैट बॉक्स इट इज नॉट अवेलेबल yeah it's uh, will blai i can share already oh okay okay it shows only the person sorry not everyone okay. thank you sir Uh, I think I'm running out of time. That's why I'm not able to run the videos. Yeah, I can. I already shared the chat window. You can uh, open your chat window and copy the link. You can pay whenever you want. Any queries? So thank you, sir, for your wonderful session. Yeah. i request uh, the participants to kindly raise queries any clarifications you shall please uh, ask our 
expertise person i will share my contact number and email id to the ma'am in future future doubts or future project help you me you can contact me so so the session video and uh, the powerpoint will be shared with the participants sir yeah okay i will share the powerpoint also participants can unmute yourself or else you can use uh, the chat box to ping your queries now so the contact number sir uh, vinod kumar sir is asking for contact number yeah uh, i give to indra ma'am okay sir so feedback link has been posted in the chat box i request the participants so kindly fill out your uh, valuable feedback to improve the program more so i thank uh, the session chair resource person kane sendil kumar sir for being with us throughout one and a half hours and you have shared your knowledge and you have uh, given a fruitful session so far sir thank you for accepting the invitation sir and thank you for giving the opportunity for the grg college yeah. welcome sir i'll extend the whole heart thanks to you on behalf of grg polytechnic college and instrumentation control engineering department yeah thank you sir thank you thank you i can leave now ah oh, sure sir thank you sir yeah thank you and thank you everyone yeah. i request the participants to resume back for the afternoon session by 1:45 pm we shall leave now thank you <laughs>